Hello and welcome back to Learn Node.js on Codecademy. We're in the introduction to Node.js. This is the process module. In computer science, a process is the instance of a computer program that is being executed. You can open Task Manager if you're on a Windows machine or Activity Monitor from a Mac to see information about the various processes running on your computer right now. Node has a global process object with useful methods and information about the current process. The process.env property is an object which stores and controls information about the environment in which the process is currently running. For example, the process.env object contains a PWD property which holds a string with the directory in which the current process is located. It can be useful to have some if-else logic in a program depending on the current environment. A web application in a development phase might perform different tasks than when it's live to users. We could store this information on the process.env. One convention is to add a property to process.env with the key node underscore env and a value of either production or development. If process.env.node underscore env is equal to development, we're going to want to log testing. Testing does everything work. The process.memory usage returns information on the CPU demands of the current process. It returns a property that looks similar to this. Heap can mean different things. So we have heap total here, heap use. Heap can mean different things in different contexts. A heap can refer to a specific data structure, but it can also refer to a block of computer memory. The process.memoryUsage.heapUsed method will return a number representing how many bytes of memory the current process is using. The process.argv property holds an array of command line values provided when the current process was initiated. The first element in the array is the absolute path to node, which ran the process. The second element in the array is the path to the file that's running. The following elements will be any command line arguments provided when the process was initiated. Command line arguments are separated from one another with spaces. So this is what it's talking about here. When we run node, the first command is the absolute path to node. Then we provide the file, then any additional arguments that were given. Here we have console.log. We're logging out process.argv3, which would print several. And that's because zero would be the first argument. One would be my program, the file. And then two would be testing and three would be several. And that's why it prints several. We've only covered a few of the properties of the process object, so make sure to check out the documentation on the process object to learn more about it and explore some of its other methods and properties. Let's get some practice using the process object. Here are our instructions. We want the program in app.js to store the starting amount of memory used, heap used. Perform an operation and then compare the final amount of memory used to the original amount. Right now, the initial memory variable is assigned to null. Change this line so that initial memory is instead assigned the value of the heap used property on the object returned from invoking the process.memoryUsage method. Okay, let's do that now. Let's zoom out. And we see here initial memory. It is null. We're going to want to change that and use process.memoryUsage.heapUsed. Let's do it now. Okay, and we should be able to run that. Check now. And if we zoom out, we did pass. And now two is telling us that we want the user of the program to be able to fill in their own word when they run the program. Right now, word is assigned to null. Change the program so that when a user initiates the program with an additional command line argument, word will be assigned that value. For example, running the program with the command node app.js code academy would result in word being assigned the value code academy. Okay, so we just found out that over here in the example that in order to print the correct command line argument, we would just access it in the order the command comes. We would just want to know where that command is in our array. We know that process arg v allows us to access the command that is given. So we're able to change null to be process. So this should allow us to grab whatever is the third command that's passed in 
to the terminal. So if I go down and I should be able to check and we do pass that. So awesome. Now let's run the program. Type node app.js followed by any word you like, then hit enter. So now what we should be doing is something like this. And we could pass in and we should be able to hit enter. And it says your word is coding rocks. Starting memory usage was this. Current memory usage is this. After using the loop to add elements to the array, the process is using this much more bytes of memory. Let's check it. We do pass. And so what we're learning here is about the process module. Here we use memory usage and we ask for the heap used, which which we then are also able to ask for down here, initial memory, and that gives us the initial memory, but then we're also able to ask for the heap used, which is gonna be current memory. And not only that, we also learned about process.argv, which allows us to access our arguments that we passed in when running our app initially. So there are many more things that the process module can do, but as long as you're, you're understanding this lesson and how process.argv works and that you are able to use heap use to access current memory usage. And there's many other more built in features that the process module has so make sure to check those out and learn more about it and once you feel comfortable i'll see you in the next lesson